Three months ago, Google released an excellent cybersecurity certificate aimed at people with no experience or degree or any IT background, which was a huge deal because traditionally to do cybersecurity certifications, they used to ask you to have four or five years of experience in IT. But the issue is this isn't the only certificate that claims that. The IBM Cybersecurity Analyst Certificate covers extremely similar topics to the Google Cybersecurity Certificate and also makes the same claim that it's targeted at people with no degree or IT experience or coding knowledge. So I took both courses just to try to see the differences between them and to find out which one is the best, but it was really confusing because they both covered the same topics. But as I went through each one of them, I found some surprising differences. So to save you time and money, I will take you through the similarities between the certificates, the differences, and which one should you do to gain more confidence so you can apply to more cybersecurity jobs, get more interviews, and eventually land your first cybersecurity role. Let's get into it. Part one, similarities. So I found that both certificates really don't expect you to have any coding knowledge or any IT knowledge or any networking knowledge. But not only that, they will also give you a shareable badge that you can put on your LinkedIn and your CV, which is a huge deal. Because if you're a student or if you're, let's say, changing careers from nursing into cybersecurity, it's really good to have those credentials on your CV instead of going through a fully fledged three or four years degree. But the most important similarity that I found is both courses actually takes roughly the same time to finish. So both tell you you can take between four to six months to finish the course. But I found that most people tend to finish the course within two to three months, depends on how fast or how slow you finish. In fact, one guy in our Discord server finished it in one week. I don't recommend that, but I know it's possible. But as I kept doing both courses and dig through the modules, this is where things got interesting. They both explain to you what cybersecurity is and what do we do as cybersecurity professionals. And they both take you through a day in the life in a cybersecurity analyst, which is pretty cool. And they both teach you about cybersecurity risk management and the various frameworks that we use in cybersecurity. The notable difference is IBM teaches you about IBM X Force, which is a service offering by IBM. Pro tip, many people in the cybersecurity field claim to understand cybersecurity risk management, but when I interview them, they fail to answer the most basic question. So the fact that you're getting to learn this topic early on in your career is a huge plus. Now, both certificates have an excellent module about networking, which takes you through all the foundational concepts in networking, and this is fantastic news. So you don't really need to do CompTIA Network Plus or TCNA because both certificates do an excellent job in covering networking. But after the networking module, this is where things got a lot more exciting. Which brings me to part two, the differences between the certificates. IBM certificate has been out for a while, but to my surprise, it looks like they kept the certificate up to date. So I found a module that discusses AI and some fairly recent topics as well, which is a good plus for the IBM Cyber Analyst certificate. When it comes to the topic of detection and response, which is a core activity that cyber Cyber analysts perform. Remember, as cybersecurity professionals, our job is to stop hackers from hacking into the network, but also our job is to detect if there is a hacker in our network or if there is a malware. And to do that, there are various tools that we use. A primary tool called SIEM, which is a central log service that has all the logs of the organization, and this is where we conduct investigations and set up alerts. The Google certificate covers Splunk, which is an extremely popular SIEM, but the IBM certificate covers their own tool called IBM Curator. Both tools do the exact same thing, just know they are both different commercial tools. Pro tip, if you learn the tool theoretically and you haven't got a chance to practice with this tool, this is how you add it to your CV. Under the skills section of your CV, just type that you have exposure to IBM Curator. This way you have the keyword in your CV, but you're honest about your level of understanding of the tool. Now the great thing about both certificates is that they both have hands-on labs, which if you've watched any of my videos, I'm a big, big advocate of certifications that have a hands-on lab because cybersecurity is not just a theoretical field. Imagine that you're trying to learn nursing. So to become a nurse first, you need to cover the human biology and understand how the body works. But you can't just be a nurse from the books. You have to get your hands dirty. Now you let me know if this gets to be too much for you. Okay, mom, I think that I can handle it. Oh, good God, what is that? Cybersecurity is very similar. I interview hundreds of candidates every year and I get these CVs with certificates like Security Plus and even CISSP. But as soon as I start asking them questions and give them scenarios, they fail to answer the most basic question. So to build that knowledge and confidence, you have to do hands-on labs. And both the IBM and the Google Cyber Certificate have hands-on labs. But to my surprise, they have completely different hands-on labs. The Google Certificate have a lab on Linux, SQL, and Python. IBM has a lab on Linux, but they specifically teach you Kali Linux, which is a Linux distribution that ethical hackers use. There is also a lab in the IBM Certificate that teaches you how to harden Kali Linux. It's 
it's optional but i highly recommend you do it hardening an os is a task that we do as cyber analysts this is where you get an operating system and then you secure it now the google cyber certificate has a lab dedicated to sql unfortunately the ibm certificate only touches on this topic theoretically the google cyber certificate covers python which is a programming language that we use as cyber security professionals the google certificate will give you some hands-on practice with it the ibm certificate have a very basic package that you can download and install and experiment on but i found that google goes a little bit deeper in python now the most surprising part was the lab that i found in the ibm cyber analyst because i couldn't find this lab in the description of the course so there is a lab that teaches you how to use the OWASP top 10 tool called zap which is an open source tool that scans web applications for vulnerabilities there is also another lab that will teach you how to create a github repo which is really important because you can create a github repo and add all your projects there which will definitely make you stand out as you apply for your first cyber security role because as i told you the vast majority of candidates who apply for jobs have no practical experience so if you can show a github repo with practical project that's a huge plus plus. and then there is a lab in the ibm security certificate where you get to scan the github repo using a tool called snake to check for any vulnerabilities in the code at the end of each certificate there is a capstone project in the google certificate the capstone project is focused on what they refer to as getting you job ready so they'll show you how to create a cv how to get ready for interviews and how to apply to jobs which in my opinion is a very important skills especially if you're someone who come from a different field like accounting or nursing or working in a warehouse so you may not be familiar of the process of creating a cv and applying to jobs so i think this is extremely valuable the ibm certificate capstone project is a little bit different it takes you through a cyber security incident and gets you to follow proper incident response methodology and prepare a report again it's a very valuable skill to have you can definitely add it to your cv but after i finished both of them i found it really hard to know which one should i recommend which brings me to the third part of this video which one should you do honestly it's really hard to answer this question because both certificates are aimed at people with zero cyber security experience they also both have hands-on labs which is really good because it gives you a taste of what is it like to work in cyber security it just warms you up to the idea of practicing in a lab they are also both hosted in coursera which is really cheap you get one week for free and then it's 50 bucks per month but there is one advantage to the google cyber security certificate they have a huge focus on preparing you for interviews and how to look for jobs and how to prepare a cv so if this is something you struggle with then the google certificate is a good choice for you now as far as quality is concerned i found both certificate to be of very similar quality they really do a good job of explaining cyber security concept in a very simple and easy digestible way so if i was starting out in cyber security this is what i will do i will pick either one of them whether you start with the google certificate or ibm certificate you should do it with the mindset that this will be only three months of your life you should not spend longer than that so if you finish the google cyber security certificate and you feel confident maybe do the comptia security plus after if you feel like you understood the concepts you passed the certificate but you just need a little bit more practice and you need to brush up more on the concepts then i think the ibm certificate is a fantastic supplement you can use the same coursera subscription but best of all you will get to finish it a lot faster because the information is still fresh in your head you've just passed your google certificate so you can go through the ibm certificate faster and you get a chance to practice with these labs and add them to your cv as for the next steps you should start adding those skills that you learned from these certificates into your cv you should also add these labs as projects on your cv and from there i would be laser focused on to doing more practical projects up until i have the confidence to do even higher level certificates which will give you the confidence to start applying for cyber security jobs and land your first cyber security job i curated a list of practical projects that you can do after you finish these certificates that will build up your skills progressively in this video